I never thought we'd release 200 black rhinos, but it's a pretty amazing landmark. We've all teamed together to create this wonderful reserve with very good black rhino habitat, so we really are full of hope that they're going to perform well. We know that there's a huge amount of poaching, but this is the best way we know to try and counter the effects of poaching, create new populations. The terrain we're working in is very rough, so it's just so much easier to, to sling these animals up. It means you can dart in areas where you wouldn't otherwise be able to remove them through ground capture. So it gives us better options, but it's also better for the animals as well. Rhino are difficult to move, so the best way to do that is with the best people. So you need to pull the best people together, and I think that's what this project does so well. Here you have a partnership. It's government, it's a community, it's private landowners. These rhinos have absolutely become my life over the last two years that I've been doing their monitoring. It is tough to see them go, and at the same point I know that it's the right thing for them. It's so very exciting to see black rhino coming back into an area like this that hasn't had black rhino for many, many years. I know when I saw the rhinos come up today that we've got to continue doing this and fighting for these animals. We need to keep this black rhino from going extinct. That's the job for us all. What's wonderful about seeing them walk away on release is that they have a whole new life ahead of them and they're going to start this wonderful new population.